John Blank was a royal trumpeter in the courts of Henry VII and Henry VIII, and the first person of African descent in British history for whom written records and an identifiable portrait image survive. The National Archives holds records linked to Blank's job as a musician in the royal household between 1507 and 1512. Very little is known about John, but historians have been uncovering new evidence of his life in the Tudor court. So we're here today to talk about the John Blank project. And Michael, the director of the project, is here with us to actually look at the documents that tell us something about John Blank's time in England and his service with the Crown. It's not the full story because we don't know what's missing, but this is the evidence we've collected together to basically put John into that time he was serving Henry VII and Henry VIII. Do you want to say a bit about what the project has been looking to do and how it, what it's achieved so far? Well, the John Blank Project is an art and archive project bringing together what we know of John in terms of the art, those two images in the Westminster tournament role. The, the genesis of the idea came from me because I found that some people could not imagine a Black Tudor. I could patronise if they could get them to do A4 drawings of John Blank. And from that, and then I got asked historians if they could fill in, okay, it's an old pun, fill in the blanks. So the, 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 I got historians to write pieces about how, how they imagined John Blank. So now I'm really excited to be here to see these documents and see where they're going to take us. So the first thing we've got out is, is the, the first list of trumpeters around about 1505, and it, it names all seven of them. This is Henry VII's reign, and John Blank isn't in that list. So we can say, well, he's either doing something else, or he's not there as a trumpeter, or he's not even in the country. And these lists move on in time. But if you have to wait until December 1508 to see John Blank's first appearance, and there he is, you've got John Blank actually in the list of trumpeters, but he's separated from the others, which suggests this is his first appearance, and he certainly doesn't get named in this book before this time. So John Blank, the black trumpet, for his month's wages of November, last passed at eight pence the day, 20 shillings is his payment for the month. So he's getting eight pence, and the, the crown fee was six pence, but the other trumpeters were all getting 12 or 16 pence. So there's something to be said about where he sits in the hierarchy of service, but also in relation to the other trumpeters. Is he just learning? Has he been admitted as a probationary trumpeter? We don't know this because the record doesn't tell us any context for this. You know, the shorthand, some people have said that because he was black, it's much it's more complex than that in terms of, because we, we, we don't know. We don't know. And as, as you said, there's many other reasons. I mean, he could have been, he only, only just come, could have been the youngest, many other reasons for that, for that, for that price difference. There's lots of other things to, to add a bit more colour to the, the story. These are quite bare bits of information about wages uh, on monthly kind of cycles. And we can see him, you know, at the end of Henry VII's reign, for the wages of the black trumpeter, 20 shillings. So he's separated, but again, that could be because he's getting paid less or he's got some sort of different status, I don't know. The job they did, which was state occasions, playing the king and the queen into the space they were occupying uh, at feasts and banquets and ambassadors coming, so he's highly visible part of the court culture. Very much. I, I talk about the, 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 the trumpets being the punctuation of the court. Here comes the king, trumpets. Yeah. There goes the king, trumpets. Breakfast is served, uh, trumpets. He would have been part of that for, for um, Henry VII's funeral and Henry VIII's coronation. The, right. the, the heralds and the trumpeters proclaiming the, 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 the uh, new king. Well, that's what we've got here, which is the, um, the account of the funeral cloth given out to everybody in the royal household for Henry VII's funeral. And this, this page has the trumpeters list, um, which you've got John Blank actually oh. named at the bottom of the list there. Oh, you can see so it this there. is in April 1509, and they're all getting yards of black cloth that they'll then go away and make into gowns. I think Henry VIII possibly had a softer spot than Henry VII for him. Even though Henry employs him first of all, Henry VII, yeah. it's under Henry VIII that we see that personal connection growing. Well, you know, you know what, the John, what, part of the John Blank project, are, are the strap on is he imagined the Black Tudor trumpeter. And one of my imaginings is that Henry was a, was a musician. I, I, I can see him jamming with, with, yeah. with, with, with the, the trumpeters, and in particular John Blank. It would have been natural for him to do it. I guess they'd have to respectfully make sure he was doing all the big bits. So now we're looking at um, some of the evidence that shows 
John's personal relationship with the king, as far as we can judge it, which is fairly minimal, but we've got some evidence to show favour and a sense of John's importance in relation to what Henry VIII felt about his, his staff, his servants. So we've got the, um, the warrant for John's wedding cloth, which is probably for his wife as well, because it's, it's a gift of cloth against his, his marriage. This is in January 1512. It's very rare for the king to give a gift of wedding clothes to anybody. We've also got the petition for the wage increase, which I think is probably connected in that if John's now married, he needs a bigger income to support his wife. Well, that, that, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always uncertain about the, the petition, when it was, when, when the, the date for it. And it, isn't it almost like chicken and egg? Yeah. He's got, the king thinks, I, the king thinks enough of me to pay me twice, so I'll go for the petition. Oh, I've got the more money now. I've got enough to get married now. So we think about the gift of the cloth for his wedding and the petition. We think about those as roughly the same sort of time because it's a kind of sudden mark of favour and why would you not take advantage of that? And it's definitely violet cloth furred with Spanish bogey with lambskin. Then there's a accounts of a, a doublet of scarlet hose, so single leg tights, a bonnet and a hat. It really does show that this is more than just a, a passing gift to a servant. This is actually an investment in promoting your servant to the very, very highest quality. And if the king's at Greenwich in January, given a few, a few days, if not a few weeks, to make this clothing up, you might think they were getting married towards the end of January 1512. Mm -hmm. And if they were still at Greenwich, maybe the, the king was there as well. You know, you can imagine all of this. Because you've got this evidence of this step being taken, then it makes you think about it in a slightly different way. Well, the, the, the local church, St. Alfred's in Greenwich, you know, does, does talk about John Blank um, being part of the, 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 the parish and the, there's, a, there's a, a, a bench dedicated to John Blank. So he could well have been married there. But this document raises the question, what kind of wedding would it have been? Well, if they were wearing these clothes, it would have looked pretty impressive. Very much, very much so. So there's, um, there's a story of how John might have come to England and it's linked to Catherine of Aragon coming for her first marriage to Prince Arthur. November 1501, there's at least 14 trumpeters here coming with Catherine. So that could be a route for John Blank to have arrived because that, that name suggests, you know, it's almost like a nickname, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing we've got to talk about is this new document we found from much earlier in the Tudor period, back to 1488, of a man called John Blank, or a boy called John Blank, perhaps, serving as a, a footman in Henry VII's service, because he's clearly there in the document, and we know a footman was a young man's job, running alongside the king as he traveled, um, crowd control maybe, but supporting the king into, into, into buildings, um, when he's visiting people, it's so very much um, a mobile role, which I guess young people would be best suited for, because we can see evidence mm -hmm. of their, their shoes wearing out really quickly, they keep getting renewed clothing much quickly, so they're, they're an active kind of group. But there's only three footmen, and this is unusual because they're named in this warrant, and they're not normally named because they're probably right down at the bottom of the hierarchy in terms of the household. But you've got three servants named, all getting a gift of their spring clothing in 1488. Um, so John Blank is there. Does that change the story? Well, I, in this, it's, you, when, you, when you first explained this to me, Sean, I was a bit, uh, nah, nah, 1488, John Blank, and a 1507 John Blank trumpeter, 1488 footman. No, you know, just instinctively. But when you see it here, when you see John Blank, clearly John Blank, and I, I, I still have to think, well, are they the same person? This, this, is, a, this is something coming from, from left of field. I mean, it's possible, isn't it, that it's another black person called John Blank yeah, yeah. on a parallel piece I, of service. I, I, then, and then, okay, the, but this, this is the, the wonder of, of history and action like this. Well, where did he come from? Where did that John yeah. Blank come from? Did he, you know, how did he get in? And the, all the questions we ask of the, the, the trumpeter, the 1507 trumpeter John Blank, we've got to ask of the 1488 right. footman. I, I had my mind, 1507 trumpeter, mm. end of. And it's not like that. You have to come to terms with the fact that that's as far as we know. 